Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing very well. I probably do have chocolate in my teeth right now. I just had my breakfast and it had Nutella in it. So healthy. I am literally like kind of shaking with excitement right now. I actually can't explain how excited I am. I actually didn't sleep last night. It's, I literally am so looking forward to this. So some of you may remember a while back now, probably about two or three years ago, I took up horse riding lessons and I started a new hobby um, in horse riding. I'd always wanted to do it since I was a young child. It was like a dream of mine when I was younger to do horse riding and to have horse riding lessons. But back when I was younger, my parents couldn't really afford to put me in lessons. Like it's such an expensive hobby. Like horse riding lessons are just ridiculously expensive. I always promised myself when I got of an age where I would be able to pay for my lessons myself and do the hobby properly, I, I would do that. So yeah, a couple of years ago, I started horse riding and I absolutely fell in love with it. As I knew I would, like I literally feel like it's in my bones to do it, like I just love it. This isn't what this whole vlog's gonna be about, by the way, it's just we're going in a minute to have our lesson. I'm so excited. So basically, started a couple of years ago and I ended up having my endometriosis surgery which meant I had to obviously take a quite a long break from it. And then not long after my endometriosis surgery, thank God, I, I actually fell pregnant with Bambi. So I ended up having like a massive long break from horse riding up until today where we were actually going to go back. And I say we because me and Erin are actually doing a joint lesson today, which I, I'm so excited about. We went to decathlon yesterday evening and bought all the gear, all the gear, no idea. I'm really conscious that I've got Nutella out of my mouth. I think I do. Oh, I think I had crumbs in the corner of my mouth then. Gorgeous. Yeah, literally all the gear, no idea. I've got boots, I've got jodhpurs on. I really wanted to buy my own helmet, but my head was too big. I wish I'd vlogged yesterday. Honestly, we <clears throat> we had tears. Tears rolling down our cheeks with laughter. It was the funniest thing ever. Not a helmet in the store would fit my head. Not a helmet in the store. So I think I'm gonna have to get like a special helmet made or something because apparently I've got a big head. I'm so excited. I'm literally so excited. I just feel so passionate about it. I've had baby gymnastics this morning and now I have some childcare this afternoon. I'm really viewing this as like me time because this is a hobby that I just, I'm so desperate to like get back into. I'll see you guys at the stables. Guys, we've just pulled up and we're both quivering and shivering in our riding boots. <laughs> Terrified. No, I'm not, I'm, I'm, why do I suddenly feel nervous? <laughs> I'm just trying to think like, what if we get on the horse? I'm suddenly like, oh. And we freeze. <laughs> yeah, what if I'm like, oh, oh gosh, like I don't know what I'm oh. doing. But basically we are gonna maybe tell them that we're, not that, not that we're more advanced than we are, but <laughs> I started a riding school about three years ago and I only did one lesson there because the whole lesson I just walked around um, the like arena thing on a rope like I didn't even go into a little trot I didn't do anything and I really wanted to like advance quite quickly I'm sure the woman was just trying to see like how I was and stuff but then I came to this riding school and within my first lesson cantering galloping around the the stadium what's it called not stadium or an arena an arena no the court no it's called a uh... Oh, it's called something as. It's in your... oh. You knew what half chaps were. I know you're going to know <laughs> what this is. When we went to the Catalan yesterday. Ed's knew all the like terminology for. Uh, I think you are Are probably going to be a what bit. What is it? Arena. I think you got it right. No, it's not. It's it's something at Hang On. Well, I've got my platin, my horse riding platin, as you can see. Um, it's chucking it down with rain, but I do know they have like an indoor arena. It just flows off the tongue. A ring or an arena, yeah. It is a an ring. arena. Yeah, a ring. arena. You're right. Anyway, fingers crossed. Lots of unanswered questions. Lots of mysteries surrounding this wait. lesson. And lots of girls in horse riding hats. It's making me very excited. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh. Hello. But they can't be going She's on got chaps. No, she's not got chaps on. She's got, she would wear. Wish us luck, guys. I'm excited. Wow. I'm in my literal element. I'm, I feel like crying my eyes out. I feel like sobbing. Now, all I know is that none of the hats yesterday fitted me. Not one. I said to them on the vlog they need to make me a special hat. That doesn't fit. That's a nice one. It's a nice one, isn't it? Size of it. Size of it. There's a size of a hat. Size of a hat. That's a nice one. That's yours. Oh, yeah, but you need one. <laughs> Hats on it. Hats on, on it. Hats on it. <laughs> oh, so small. Doesn't go down. I really didn't think I had a big head. I feel like crying. <gasps> Hello, monkey. Is that his name? Oh, Monty. <laughs> Not monkey. <laughs> Hello, monkey, mate. Hello, monkey. Hello, monks. Oh, I love him. No, guys, honestly, I need my own horse. Like, 
Do you not sound like broke assault, like Daddy L wants a horse, but Ez's horse is Dudley. Ez, he's gorgeous. I do like my horse, he's called Jimmy. 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 But he's got patches on. I, you scored lucky here. <laughs> not, not that there's anything wrong with a horse with patches, because they're all equally beautiful. Mm -hmm. Guys, can I just say, um, the woman went, are you going to just get them out of the stables and just bring them over? I went, yeah, yeah, of course we are. I went, yeah, absolutely, no worries. Also, helmet on it, <laughs> head on it. Oh my God, helmet's on it. <gasps> Can you? I can't. Also, did a lovely French plat. I did a lovely French plat trying to look all like, you know, horse rider and horse rider aesthetic and then had to take it out because my head was too big, didn't I? Can't say, tell you how happy this makes me. I feel like this is a part of my life I've really been missing. Do you know what I mean? Gorgeous. You're gorgeous. So glue your bum to the saddle. A little bit more push push. Now sit back, shoulders back. And then remember to keep breathing. And then walk there, there you go. Right then, are you on the right diagonal? Am I? Are you? That's the question. Go trot and then ask again. Think, stick your bum to the saddle and then squeeze, squeeze. Loads better, look at that. That's it, roll them shoulders back. And then back to trot. No, on that corner. No, on that corner. I thought that's the end. I'm coming off. S. Right. That was lovely. How do you not feel like you're gonna fly off on the corner? You've just got to develop that seat a little bit more. Now hold him on there. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And then right leg up over his bum. Yeah. Big swing and then bend your knees. I'm out. She's here. She like this as well. Oh my god. Yeah. Right. Well, we'll ring the other. Yeah, we will do. Ring you when we're back. Bye right, bye. Right, speechless. <laughs> speechless. Best time ever. Uh, battery's but... exhausted. We've <laughs> vlogged that much. Not got a battery left. But guys, honestly, that was so much fun. We had the best time. And I'm going to go to Costa and get a hot chocolate. Um, I could cry of happiness. No, we had. We got to groom them at the end. I know this doesn't really want to be in it, but honestly, it, it, which you have time. to be because it was joint. It was we so did it together good. and. We are horsey ladies. <laughs> and we recruited a third member yeah. of the saddle club. She's called Maddie. She's our instructor. And we went, Maddie, do you want to be part of the saddle club? And she went, She filmed yeah. half of this vlog, actually. Oh, bless her. She was great. Great. Really we good. booked the same time next week. Yes. Can't wait. I will, I will literally look forward to it all oh, week. Yeah. <laughs> it's been the highlight of my week. Good evening, guys. I feel like at the moment, a lot of our conversations are being had in the evening. Obviously, I'm back from horse riding now. Sorry for the abrupt change of scenery. Genuinely, one of the best mornings of my entire life. Like, I'm not even exaggerating. Like, we, it was a couple of days ago now, I'll be honest, but we had the best time. Because honestly, seeing me and Erin trotting around on those horses, like, I don't know why, we just thought it was the funniest thing on planet Earth. I'd like to know why I'm sat like that. I'd like to know when I'm, when I'm cantering, why I'm rising eight meters off the saddle. I am actually gave, gave myself the ick, gave myself the ick well and truly. Like, me coming off that saddle, me on the horse in general is an ick, I'll be honest. And I don't even like using that word because I think it's stupid, but it is. I hope Tommy never sees this vlog. Um, I think he's actually going to come and watch our next lesson next week. So whatever, it is what it is. If he wants to break up with me, he can break up with me. I actually just had a session with my life coach. I don't even feel like now is the right moment to talk about this because it's like quite a big subject. Um, but yeah, I've like not hired a life coach because I've definitely not hired her. I'm having sessions with a life coach. I'm mentally drained right now from that session because my mind is like, blown by the things she's like teaching me and explaining to me and like it's so fascinating bambi's in bed which is another thing sorry i feel like i'm doing a million different topics at one time but i had a comment not that i like to invest my time into negative comments but i had a comment on my video the other day that said like you're a mum but you never seem to be rushing when you're doing anything like mums are always rushing like why are you never rushing when you're doing your self-care why are you never rushing 
to do X, Y, and Z. And, and I'll be honest, guys, I've been filming a lot in the evenings recently because that's when Bambi goes to bed. I also film in the daytime when I have help with her, when I have childcare, no matter what that childcare is, whether it's nursery, whether it's help at home. I choose to film when I am in my working hours, when I'm working, when I have help with Bambi. I'm not afraid to say that. Like that doesn't, I'm not afraid to say that. When I'm in my mum mode, when I'm me and Bambi are together, like just me and her in the house and I have like no other set of hands, like that's not when you're gonna find me vlogging. Occasionally it might be, like it, it might be sometimes, but I'll be honest, I will normally be vlogging with you guys and I'll normally be picking up my camera when I have time by myself because that's when it feels most natural like it doesn't feel natural to do it when I'm around her when I'm just one-on-one -on -one time with her because that's when I want to be just focusing on her I think I've actually realized recently as well that I share a lot less than I probably anticipated that I would share of Bambi I definitely don't put her online as much as I thought I naturally probably would it doesn't really feel that natural to me like when it happens naturally I don't know why I keep saying the word natural. When it happens naturally, it happens. But I don't like think I'm going to vlog Bambi now. It doesn't really work like that. But yeah, I just saw this comment and I thought, when someone was saying, why are you not always rushing? I'll be honest, I pick up the camera, A, either when she's in bed or B, when I have a second pair of hands to help me with her so that I can do things like this because I personally don't like to do it when it is my time with Bambi. I hope that makes sense. And I know I don't need to justify that. And I, don't, I know I don't need to explain that because it doesn't really matter. Um, and I shouldn't even put my time of thought into it. It wasn't even like, I swear it was negative comment. Anyway, funny story. I actually did some filter content this morning with the team. A couple of the girls came here. We filmed some short videos for the girls to use on the so social media for filter. Anyway, Steph was like, do you want to do an application video on your legs? And I said, Steph, I lifted up my trouser to show her my leg. And she went, yeah, scrap that idea. I think we'll leave that right where it's at because guys, my leg hairs, my leg has no word of a lie, platable. Platable, definitely braidable. The hair in other places, you don't wanna know. Honestly, I think you could actually create a full set of extensions with the hair in other places. I'm not gonna go into details, I already just did. You take my makeup off. A little bit of self-care before I go to bed because Tommy's fight is the day after tomorrow and I would like to be going to that fight with somewhat silver to me like... feel sorry for it it had to work really hard there if you saw the state of this head this head needs to go in the bin i'll be honest just actually remove that head because i actually can't talk about this razor whilst that head's in it because it's actually like stacked with it may i just add as well nothing wrong with having hair absolutely nothing wrong with having hair i'm actually all for it i'm all for it i just want to quickly talk to you guys about the razor that i have been using not only recently probably for the last i don't even know how many years now a good couple of years i've been using estrid razors i'm talking about it without the head on because i've had to remove the poor thing because honestly busting the seams with hair you just attach it just like that you just literally press that little press a little button there attach a new head good as new estrid uh a razor subscription service have you ever heard of anything more handy in your entire life i don't think so a razor subscription service like all my prayers answer because i'll tell you what one thing that i constantly forget to pick up on my shopping list like and that i don't think to go out and buy is razors like it's just not top of my list especially with my priorities with my body hair like they're so low for me the estrid razors get my hair the shortest um and i don't have to shave as frequently it literally feels like when you use this razor you don't need to use a product as well like you don't need to use an exfoliating you don't even really need to use a shower gel like you can go you can go and bare back you can go and bare back with this thing and it's gonna get your legs 
silky smooth. So right now, if you buy a starter kit on Estrid, you will get a whole extra razor for free. So two for one, who doesn't love that? I will leave the details on the screen. You have to use my code to be able to get that deal. One of the most generous deals they've ever done. So I don't want you guys to miss out because I know a lot of you guys on here love Estrid. So who doesn't love a little cheeky deal? You already know, you already know what time of year it is. The Neon Diffuser is back out in full force. Now I'm trying to open this with one hand. You guys might remember me using this. I use this a lot in my pregnancy. So I just switch it on and she lights up. She's shining. Also, this needs to be gone by Saturday. It looks like a mosquito bite. It's not. It's like an under the skin spot, but it's not, um, it's not that big, but it looks it. She's a juicy girl. What about you guys, my fellow Stanley Cup owners? But does anybody else's no, if I actually can't get this off, we're gonna have a war. Like, we're gonna have a problem. Come on, muscles. Come on, PT. I know the PT is gonna pull through for me. Is this a joke? No, what in the world's strongest man is going on here? Because I'm sorry, Eddie Hall couldn't get this off. Is this a joke? <laughs> Eddie Hall, the, the man, the myth, the legend. Could not get this lid off if you tried. Embarrassment levels 100. I just had to get our security man to undo the lid for me because best believe I'm not going to bed without this. He's joking. I can't go a minute without it, let alone a whole night. So can I add the security guy? Hefty fella struggled to get it off. Took him a good three times. So I'm not going to feel too bad about that. Me again. I'm back. Sorry guys. Just quickly feeding the cats. Not that anyone asked to see that task either, but I feel like I've not really said anything about the cats for ages on my vlog. Okay. So guys, a little bit of an issue for us at the minute. I know this is not the right way to hold a cat, but it's the only way that Eggy will be held. That's our time up. Um, basically, I don't know if you can notice, but Eggy's gone, bless him. Eggy's gone really skinny at the minute. And I um, have been giving him a worming treatment because I was worried that he had worms. So I've been giving him a worming treatment in his food. Um, I started it like a couple of weeks ago now, but he doesn't really seem to be putting on any more weight. So I'm gonna take him to the vets. I have a sneaky suspicion that he has worms, bless him, because he's really skinny. Like we feed the cats twice a day and they constantly have dry biscuits down and he's just like losing so much weight. Bread is still a chonky boy. Like he is still a chonky monkey. But no, Eggy's really thinning out and I'm just a bit worried about him. No one asked to hear about my cat's worms, but reality of life. Waitress skills. Come on then. Bless them. Come on then, dinner time. Dinner time. Come on, boysies. Go on, Eggy. You can move them away. Sorry, boy. And the thing is as well, the reason why I think he does have worms, sorry, to just carry on going on about it, is because um, he's eating his food. Like, he's eating his food fine. Um, but he's just like still losing weight. Like, cause I've been making sure he's been eating. And you see, like, he just looks really slender compared to Bread, who's, like, just really chunky. If I needed to describe my heaven, like, in a shot, it's this. It's this right here. Bed. Bedtime. I'm a freak, though. I basically leave Tommy's side of the bed made, because I'm, like, I'm a very neat sleeper. Like, I don't move, like, at all. I literally only need, like, that I will just literally slide in, pull the coat over, and like the bed will basically stay this neat, this made. So like I literally, obviously I put my pregnancy pillow there because I still use that. But yeah, I leave like his display cushions on and everything. So I think like, what's the point? Like then I've only got to make half the bed in the morning. It's absolutely great. Finally in bed. I am so ready for sleep. I touched on me starting with a life coach before and I feel like I can't just like drop that into conversation and like not elaborate on it slightly even though there's not really much to elaborate on like I'm not I don't want to talk about it loads because it's quite like a I mean I'm not really a private person am I like it's not even a private thing it's just like something new for me I have told you guys before I've had therapy before but life coaching and therapy are two really different things and I've realized that massively from starting my life coaching sessions I initially booked three sessions and I had my third one this evening and I've just booked in for another three. And I'll be honest, it isn't the cheapest activity I've ever done. Like it's a real investment into myself. But I think at the end of the day, like if I like to buy makeup and hair things and clothes and shoes for myself, like why wouldn't I invest also in bettering myself and learning ways to, like learning techniques 
on how to cope with things in my life or like how to navigate things better or how to look at things in a different way or how to think differently my clips just come out um then why wouldn't I do that? And um, so, guys, I was going to carry on talking about, like, another topic then, but I actually, I'm so tired, like, it's just draining watching someone talk when they've just, like, got no energy and they're really tired. So let's catch up. Maybe not tomorrow, but I'll, I'll check in the next day or something. I should know the next day, and no, I absolutely won't, because it's Tommy's fight the day after tomorrow. Oh, my God, it's Tommy's fight the day after tomorrow. Oh, my God, when it hits midnight tonight, it's Tommy's fight tomorrow. Don't mind me whilst I just actually vomit. Good night. Good morning guys, how are we all doing today? It's a Tuesday over here, having a beautiful day so far after the most insane weekend, like literally, I'm still not over the weekend. Tommy came home with the win from his fight and honestly, like I don't think I realised how much it was affecting my mood, like the run up to the fight, because honestly, like the last couple of days, I have literally been on cloud nine like it feels like the weight of the world has been lifted off my shoulders and i don't think i realized let me turn off the engine actually because i'm not going anywhere and i'm sure it's making a lot of noise yeah i don't think i realized how much the build up to the fight and like the anxiety and i just don't think i realized how much it was affecting me like i kind of kept for kept forgetting that like we had this huge event coming up since he's come home with the win honestly like we've had the most insane couple of days i'll be honest though probably the last time i will ever go to a fight like I, I say that it won't be because i will drag myself there like i did with this one but i actually more than anything slightly embarrassed myself as like tommy's support system at the fight because honestly like my head was on the ground the whole entire fight like i physically could not lift up my chin to look at the ring and watch the fight like i don't know what happens to me in those situations but when i was younger and i used to compete in competitive sports i actually quit all of my like hobbies in competitive sports because I hated that like competition feeling I hated that environment it used to give me anxiety I didn't like the feeling of like being in competition with anyone it's just typical that my fiance is a boxer and I'm now like plummeted with no choice back into that lifestyle and I wouldn't change it for the world because I know it makes him so happy and I've like been over this quite a few times now but I just it's quite hard because I I, yeah, I feel like I kind of let myself down. I really wanted to be like a strong support system for him on Saturday. And I felt like I was just up until the point of the actual fight. Like, honestly, guys, I was a mess, a, a literal mess. Couldn't eat, couldn't speak. Literally felt like I was going to faint, be sick. Like, I don't know why I get so nervous. And it wasn't like the actual fight. It wasn't the, I don't know. I think it's just like the feeling the pressure of being his support system and like being the one that only truly knows how he feels and knows him inside out i don't know what's going on with his lighting apologies um yeah i don't know it's just a mad feeling with the jake paul fight obviously i didn't even um i didn't even go to that fight because i'd just given birth i didn't even watch it on tv like i didn't even put it on tv like i literally went up into the bedroom, had headphones on, was actually breastfeeding Bambi in that specific moment. And I just said to the girls downstairs watching, I said, like, come up and tell me when it's over. Like, I don't want it. And then the fact that this fight, I was there ringside. Like, I, oh, no, 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 no. Like, not for me whatsoever. I can't. I don't know how Paris does it. I don't know how any partners of boxers do it. Like, I literally take my hat off to you because I can't. I can't do it. Like, I am useless. Um, and I wish I was like that strong woman. I'm like, I'm gonna be there for my man. I'm gonna pop some lip oil on because my lips are so dry. I've been loving this. Um, I mentioned it in my last vlog. I got it in PR. This is the Kylie, Kylie lip oil. This is like a tinted pink one. But yeah, obviously very happy now it's done. And the lighting is obviously looking absolutely chef's kiss. Like we just love to see it. And I said to him before he went on, I said, just remember that it's nights like these that when you're an old man sat in your rocking chair and like when we're old together and we're telling Bambi's children, we're telling our grandkids like stories and stuff, these are the kind of things you're going to tell them about. You're going to tell them about the time that you like sold out the AO arena and you had a huge fight and there was thousands and thousands of people there like cheering your name. And I just said like, just remember that like amongst all of this and like, you know, the fight, forget about that for a second. Just, just soak it all in, like soak it all in because these are moments that like I just so I don't know just so crazy and a couple of things to do I've just escaped the house Tommy and Bambi are just having some lovely much needed catch-up cuddles on the sofa I think they're just gonna have like a film day together I mean not that she really sits down and watches films with him but he likes to pretend that she does I've made myself a little chocolate protein shake just because 
honestly the last couple of days like i obviously knew that tommy was going to go crazy with the food and unfortunately well not unfortunately because whatever like it's not even a big deal but i have done the same like i've been copying his his diet like he's ordered pizza hut i've eaten pizza hut he's ordered dominoes i've had dominoes curry chinese cookies cakes you name it, I've eaten it in the last few days. So I'm trying to be back on it a little bit today. Drive to Franz now. I've got a few things to do there. I've got a few things to go over with her. I promise you at some point I will spend more time vlogging out of the house. I just feel like I'm constantly in the house at the minute. And when I'm not in the house, I get stage fried to vlog. Um, I've been running around all day. It's towards the end of the day now. I do apologize. But I wanted to quickly hop on because I've been thinking all day. I need to come on here and talk about the pride I have right now and the fact that this is my natural hair. Can you actually believe it? I've had a couple of compliments today for my hair and I was so happy to be like, oh my God, I've got no extensions in it. Um, it's not the thickest, but it's grown so much in length and it was really good for me to get my extensions out the other day and know that my hair was in good condition because I felt like because of the postpartum hair loss I've been experiencing recently that when I got my extensions taken out this time, I'd have the shock of my life and basically have no hair left because I've literally been shedding that much hair. Bambi's about to wake up from her nap now and we've got dinner time, bath time. Then this evening, Tommy and I really wanted to go to like a scare park. I organized my sister coming around and everything to watch Bambi when she went to bed. So Tommy and I could go to a scare park this evening because we've got a lot of catching up to do on the Halloween festivities. As you guys know, well, you may know by now that it's mine and Tommy's favorite time of the year, Halloween. Because Tommy's been in camp, we've missed out on a lot of festivities that we need to be catching up. The one we wanted to go to is shut tonight. Night. and then we contacted the other one that we wanted to go to and they said that they weren't going like all out tonight because it wasn't a very busy night or something so I don't know do we just go to the cinema and watch a film that we've already watched because we went to see The Exorcist the other day honestly what is wrong with us like when I talk to people about how much we love scary stuff like they think we're like a little bit not like we're a little bit crazy like I think we might be a little bit who would optionally choose to go and see The Exorcist twice like who would do that we would we are the champions my friends it's really going to flutter around all me. And we'll keep on fighting till the end. The office is looking very fresh right now. I just received the most beautiful bunch of flowers. They took me completely by surprise. I got this little note and just folded it so you guys don't see my address. Dear Molly, just sending a little thank you for your support for my small business. It has been nothing more than magical and I'm always pinching myself, sending lots of love and squeezes. And it's from a girl that owns a company called Native Studio and they make these beautiful mugs. They make these gorgeous mugs and I've ordered a few for myself and for like some family and friends and stuff and for presents. They're the most gorgeous gifts ever. Um, and I shouted her out on my Instagram a while ago and she's always been so kind about it and she sent me these flowers today to say thank you again and that has literally like made my day i love the way fresh flowers look in the office i always come and put them in here because i just think it i don't know like the little bit of greenery in my beige house <laughs> obviously not forgetting our halloween from i think we got this from where is this b&m yeah b&m this was a tommy special this was when he was in training camp and he couldn't eat anything i feel like he was taking his love for food out or just buying trinkets instead because he couldn't actually eat any food so i feel like he just went crazy with buying random things take out his frustration on the fact that he couldn't eat anything he wanted to eat i don't know that's my theory behind it Ending the vlog where I started it, I am going to bring this vlog to a close. I know it's not been my longest vlog, but I really want to get this out this evening for you guys because I don't want to leave it too long before I post another vlog. A bit of a random video, I know, but it's been lovely catching up with you all. And I'm excited to bring you more vlogs with me feeling a lot more myself and not having the stress of Tommy's fight like just looming over my head constantly. Um, I really feel like it'll be just so nice to have to pick up my camera and not like, I don't know, every single time I thought of it, I described it as a feeling of like, you know when you're in your car and you're driving and then a hill suddenly comes, like a big like dip in the road or like you go down a roller coaster and you're like, your stomach just physically drops. Every time I thought of the fight, that's literally what the sensation in my stomach was like and it was just horrible. And now that's gone, it's like, 
just the best feeling in the world. And yeah, I'm just feeling so happy right now and so lucky that we can enjoy this like family time together. We made it to the end of this video. I love you millions. I've got horse riding again tomorrow. I'm sure you guys are not gonna want me to vlog it again because I'm gonna be horse riding like every week, hopefully at least once a week if not a couple of times a week and if i vlog it every time like you guys are going to literally be like are you all right like has this turned into an equine channel is this now an equestrian channel we know you want to be a jockey we don't need to see it every week but comment down below if you want me to bring you on the journey <laughs> maybe not tomorrow but maybe my lesson after that anyway guys love you millions and hopefully i will see you all in my next video bye